right, folks, how you doing? Russell True Results 303.com. Check out the website, link in the description box, Mind, Body, Spirit, Fitness. Put in the healing back in health. Once again, follow on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus. The podcast is out there as well. All those links are down below for you to click on. Hopefully subscribe, join the community. Uh, coming at you today with a real quick video on how to prevent shoulder and neck pain when swimming. Because uh, I experience this a lot. I have shoulder pain, uh, you know, regularly because of my own muscle imbalances and then my laziness to do something about it. Um, but so what are the quick, simple tips that you can do at the beginning of your exercise? When you get in the pool, stretch everything out this way, right? Stretch your chest out, stretch your chest out here like that against the wall here, all three areas up here mid down up over stretch that lat because sometimes the the lat can prevent you from having that flexibility and that ability to go directly overhead because of course when you swim you're trying to extend and if you're extending and you cannot just stand and go like this then of course when you swim trying to extend is going to make that difficult as well um, so once again stretch everything out Hang from a bar if you can as before your workout. Go into the actual gym area before you suit up and just hang, right? So hit those up. What I'll do as well is when you get into the pool, at the pool that I swim at anyways, on one side, they have the stands where you can jump into the water, right? So I'll swim down there, and then I'll put my feet against the pool like that, and then I'll stretch out that way, okay? So very simple right there. Then there's corrective exercises that you can do for the shoulders, right? So when you're hanging here, do a hanging shrug. So you're hanging and then shrug. The shoulders down, shrug. Get the shoulders up by the ears and then shrug it down. Here, shrug it down. Next thing you can do, and these are all corrective exercises because most likely you're kind of rounded. So if you're rounded, it's going to create a lot of shoulder pain because you're like this. So it's just trying to get the body upright, the shoulders back in place. The thing we misunderstand is when we tell somebody to sit up, right? They usually say sit up because you're like this. So when we say sit up, all somebody does is they, right? That's all low back. That's going to create pain, but we're still shrugged. So you want to keep that low back flat from here, right? Shrug, right here. Shrug, so you can shrug like that. We get the misconception of sit up straight is here, but then we're still rounded. That's not sitting up straight, right? You still want that spine in neutral. You don't want to be here because now you're engaging the back, creating a lot of pain in your back. And I'm sorry, my camera's kind of close. My head's coming out of the picture. So we're here, chin's tucked, nice and long. That's good posture. Not from the low back, so even flatten the low back a little bit, but bring the shoulders in. So get on a shrugging machine, or a, a, you know, the rowing machine. Not the actual rower, but a machine where you can row. And you're here, and just round out, shoulders back. Round out, shoulders back. And we want to shoulder back without arching. We don't want to do that. That's not the movement, right? We're not really doing anything there. So we're here. You can keep that low back rounded a little bit. So we're here. This movement, shoulders only, shoulders only, shoulders only. So those are the best exercises I can give you for that. Now when you're swimming, what I found is the same thing. You're overreaching. So just put your arm into the water a little bit earlier. Right? I can't get flat. And once again, I'm not some pro swimmer or nothing like that. I've just decided I'm, I am a personal trainer. So personal trainer, I've got my muscle imbalance certification, all those things. That's why I know some of the exercises. Um, but once again, I'm just someone who swims and has a lot of shoulder pain when I swim, right? So next is if you're bent over here, you're trying to reach out too far. Just enter the water a little sooner and go down. As long as you're still going forward, in my opinion, you're all right. So you're here, just enter the water a little bit sooner instead of going all the way out and slapping the water. Sometimes you're going out and slapping the water. I found for me, going into the water a little bit sooner and just putting my arm in like that and pulling back helps, Okay. Once again, I think helping here, this like this little catch thing they talk about, I don't know if that catch really helps because it's bringing your arm here, especially if you've already got dysfunctional shoulders. You're going here, and then you're pulling in. As long as you can keep that shoulder back still, 
that it's okay to pull if you can keep the shoulder back. The next thing I found if you're someone that has chronic shoulder pain is you're breathing on the same side and then you're here and then you're getting stuck here and then you don't, your sh shoulder's stuck shrugging, right? So you're swimming like this really and you're staying shrugged. So you've got to be able to loosen that shoulder. When you come back, you want to make sure the shoulder's pulling back and engaging the back to release the neck a little bit, right? And then the next thing is just make sure that you, for me, I'll go a couple laps breathing the same way, and then I'll switch it up, and I'll breathe the other way. And just relax and make sure you're using both sides, because if not, you're getting stuck cranking in on the same side over and over again. And if you're like me, I have to breathe every rotation. That's just the way I am. I haven't been able to get my breathing down. I just made a video on my breathing technique, what I've been able to do. I found myself just naturally doing it, and my breathing is a lot better now. I can. The last two times I got in the pool, I did 44 laps, which according to the math is the 1.2 miles for the half Ironman, which is what I'm going to be doing in a couple months. So I can already hit the 44 laps, and I'm breathing fairly easy. So there you go. Those are all the tips that I can give you to hopefully help prevent the shoulder pain, a couple corrective exercises that can help you hopefully overcome that issue because the majority of the time it's because you're stuck in that shrugging motion while you're swimming as well. So give those a couple of those exercises a go and just be careful. If you have those issues putting your hands overhead, you don't have that flexibility, that range of motion, you don't want to just jump up and grab a bar and hang. You're going to get pain everywhere. So you want to be on a bar low enough to where your foot can touch the ground and you can slowly start to put more and more weight and get a better stretch. All right, so I know I'm not in the pool, you might not look too professional, but hey, this is what I can do my videos with. Uh, once again, this is a fitness channel. I've got a lot of exercises that you can do, um, you know, exercise advice, nutrition advice, everything like that that you can scope out. Podcast as well. I've got all that information in the podcast as well. Spirituality, it's all here, folks. So once again, if you like this video, go ahead and check out the other stuff. See if it's something that you that uh, interests you. So once again, thank you for tuning in. Follow on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Google+. The podcast is out there as well. All those links down below. Subscribe to this channel. Share and like these videos.